Hey everybody, welcome to the Metal Mill 52 workshop. Just a short update for you tonight. I just finished turning these uh, ball handles. This is already loosened so I can remove it. It was way tighter than that when I was working on it. But I machined the balls and this is uh, just finished uh, cutting off the base at a 20 degree angle and drilling and tapping. I also I ran a file around the edge here and I ran a uh, countersink inside there um, just to give it a smooth finish. So it, they came up really pretty nice. That's a good finish on there and uh, pretty pleased with it. It's a little bit scratched up because of the uh, little cup. I'll show that in a minute. The ball cup. But I'm really happy with these. These are the large ones for the corn. And here's the little basket of them. This is how I organize my work. The next up is to make the to do the same process on all the small ball handles. So this is the uh, the rough blank, not rough blank, but the finished blank for these the small ball handles. They're two inches long, and they'll get faced off at a 20 degree angle, also and drilled and tapped for a 1032. This is a 5 16 24 thread. I meant to mention that. The British, um, it calls for a, a, a BA thread, and the 5 16 24 is the closest to it. So the small ball handles are next. What I'll use is the cup. Here's the little cup for the half inch, and this is the George Thomas design. Let me show you how this fits in in the, in the lathe and the three jaw chuck. So you set that in, you squeeze it with the jaw, and you set the angle, which that's what I wanted to show with uh, this setup here. It's kind of unusual and conventional, but I have the cup in here, and I would I place, I just played around with things that would give me spacers in the back here that would give me the 20 degree angle, and happily this thing worked out good. It was, it was nice because it was larger than the perimeter of the uh, the chuck jaws. So I was able to use a little twist ties to hold it in place for the, I figured, you know, machining 10 um, jaws, it's not that big of a deal. And you see, oh, the cup is still stuck in there pretty tight. So I'll have to, I'll put the half inch cup in there. This is the three quarter inch cup. I'll put the half inch one in and I'll have to play with it, play with the angle. I have a little, um, angle device here I can show you. This is what I did to check. I just set this here and I watched the angle of the handle when it was in the inside the, the chuck. I just adjust it and I played with different things in the back. So it'll it naturally this is a the smaller handles to get the similar angle I'm gonna need a thicker um, standoff piece there if that makes any sense. So that's a little update on the ball handles. Once I finish, oh, oh a couple things. Uh, there, you might have noticed I have these three. The uh, these two of these get to be machined with a flat uh, zero angle, and those will be the, that's the type C, and one will be a spare. So that's why it's, sometimes you get on a roll when you're out here machining stuff. So I put these in in plastic tape to remind me um, that they get treated differently. So that's the uh, update. Oh, I, let me show you the process. What I would do is face them off, and then I center drilled with the large center drill and the tailstock drill chuck. Then the tapping drill, I think it's 17 64ths. So I'd use that to countersink for the hole. And then I have my 5 16 24 tap. This is a regular tap, which is fine for through holes, but not good for a uh, non-through hole or I forget what there's a proper name for the closed end that all of my machinist friends are shouting right now and I just forget but here is the um, uh, bottoming tap happily I had a, a 5 16 24 bottoming tap and I just put this in I, I did this by hand and rotated the chuck and finished the last it, I got another three or four threads in each one of those large ones so I'll, I'll end up doing the same thing with the 1032 tap that will be inside the uh, small ball handles. And that's going to be the same process. I'll have to use a bottoming tap on that. So let me pan over here a little bit. Pardon the camera work. Once the corn ball handles are done, and that'll either be tonight or sometime this week, 
I'm going to come back to the pillar tool I've been assembling, going through my scrap bins and finding parts and pieces that I can use to make the the drill head for the the uh, pillar tool, the universal pillar tool. And <clears throat> excuse me, I did I I got off of eBay for a pretty good price. I think it was only three bucks, something like that. I got a bearing that I can use inside the top of the drill head, so that's critical. It's a little quarter inch space in there and a um, three-quarter inch outer diameter. So I'm assembling the pieces and can't wait to get to that, but I wanted to get these ball handles done while I was thinking about them. So that's tonight's update. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks again and welcome the new subscribers. I hope this is interesting for you. It's a nice shot of the locomotive there. Um, sometime soon I'll have to put it up on blocks and run it on air with compressed air because it's been sitting for a while and I'd like to do that and give everything a nice test. So thanks again everybody. Hope you all stay safe. Have a good evening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.